What do you and your friends talk about right now? Are you planning businesses? Are you, uh, you know, mapping out how your next three or five years is going to look? Are you guys masterminding together and sharing ideas and pumping each other up and holding each other accountable? Or are you like I was, planning where the next part is? Hey guys, what's going on? Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor here. We're in my home office today. I just got done working out, and while I was working out, I got inspired to share this message with you. I got my little earbuds in today because I got landscapers literally right outside my window. But the show must go on. So um, today, I want to teach you something that my mentor taught me a long time ago that radically shifted my mindset and really helped out my real estate investing business in a major way. So if you're wanting to become a real estate wholesaler and quick flip properties for fast paydays, or if you're wanting to rehab houses or properties like a boss, or maybe you're a long-term buy and hold investor and you wanna build a big portfolio and build wealth, this message is perfect for you. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video all the way to the end and do not forget to smash the like button if you get something out of this. For the low price of one smashed like button, you can help a YouTuber out and uh, help share this message um, with the rest of the YouTube community. All right, with that being said, let me start off by asking you a question. When you and your friends are hanging out, what do you guys talk about? Now, I remember when I was brand new, actually, let's go before that. I remember before real estate investing, before I got turned on to this idea of breaking free of the rat race before I had ambition and, and vision and purpose. I remember I was in this weird stage where I was young, I was floating, I was, I was in my early 20s, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I remember one day I was partying with my friends. We were actually at a bar and we were sitting around talking and we probably talked for like an hour or two hours. And I remember thinking to myself, man, me and my friends, we never have conversations of anything other than more partying, planning on what girls we're going to hang out with or where we're going to go and, you know, drink or whatever. It was never anything bold, never every, no vision, nothing ambitious. Uh, you know, I just felt like I was floating. And then as I started, you know, getting turned on to real estate, and then eventually I found my first mentor, his name was Lyle. He kind of started to help shift my mindset away through this conversation, right? And, and shifted my mindset over to having ambition, having purpose, having a vision. And so uh, what do you and your friends talk about right now? Are you planning businesses? Are you, uh, you know, mapping out how your next three or five years is gonna look? Are you guys masterminding together and sharing ideas and pumping each other up and holding each other accountable? Or are you like I was, planning where the next party is? Think about this. The, what kind of growth do you want to experience? What kind of results do you want over the next year or three years or five years? Do you want massive results? Massive amount of growth? Or are you unclear? Because there's really two types of growth that are out there, all right? But think about it like this. Your mindset is the key. And the incremental mindset, all right, the incremental mindset focuses on making something better, okay? It focuses on making something better, while the exponential mindset makes something different. I want you to think about this for a second. When my mentor shared this with me, I had an aha moment. What kind of mindset are you deploying right now? Do you have an incremental mindset or do you have an exponential mindset? Do you want incremental growth or exponential growth? Incremental results or exponential results? Because think about this, the incremental is like trying to improve your life or your finances or your relationships 10%. 
while the exponential, okay, is thinking 10x. It's a different way of thinking. Incremental is like 10%, exponential is like 10x. So let me show you the difference visually of how you can think about this. All right? So let's just start with incremental. This is how most people think. This is how I was thinking, if I was even thinking about growth. This is how most people think, all right? So let's just think about it like this. Let's say this is time, all right? And this is some input. This is your finances, your relationships, this is your love life, this is, you know, your job, your career, whatever it is. Incremental growth looks like this, right? A very slow growth pattern over a long period of time. This is making more sales. Maybe you're an, a salesman. This is making more sales. Sorry, you can't see this, but this is making more sales. This is, uh, you know, maybe advertising more. Let's increase the ad budget. Let's sell more widgets, and that's how we're going to grow our company. This is just, you know, maybe making a product a little bit better, right? Let's go back to the drawing board, and let's add a widget. Let's add a feature. Every business does this, every entrepreneur does this, and this is fine for some parts of your mindset and your business. But the reality is, you want it to look like this. All right, here's time. Here's the input. Exponential growth looks like this. Right? This is exponential growth. What happens is, all of a sudden, all of these seeds that are planted, all of this energy and effort just starts radically producing massive results. Instead of increasing sales or spending more on marketing or adding a feature, this is a relationship typically. And this is why masterminds, this is why you see all these influencers saying, surround yourself with the right people. This is why going to workshops and networking and really building those relationships with people that are playing the game at a very high level, this is so critical to your real estate success. What happens is, this isn't a feature or sales or advertising, this is a new strategy. This is learning from somebody that has already done 10 years, a decade, two decades worth of trial and error, failure, figuring it out, and they impart wisdom into you to literally shift the entire strategy away from what you're currently doing to something new, something better. This is somebody that's amazing, a mentor, locking arms with you, and helping you blast right through your goals. Think about this for your real estate career for a second. How much time are you focused on exponential growth? Is this part of your language? Is this part of your belief system? Because I want to help you. The reason you're here at this channel right now or you're watching me on, on Facebook or YouTube or any other social channel that you see this on and the reason I keep coming back time and time again and just hammering these types of messages is because I want to shift your mindset because when I had my aha uh -huh moment, I was like, holy moly, this is me thinking big. This is vision. This is strategy. This is unlocking those powerful relationships. This is just the day-to-day -day grind, the hustle, the heart, the hard work. What kind of results do you want? Down in the comment section down below, tell me, do you want incremental or do you want exponential? Is this your current mindset? How do you shift it to this? Let's start talking about the plan. Let's start talking about the strategy. Let's shift over here and think big. Screw 10%. Let's go for 10x. All right? 
That's what I want for you. And that's why I keep coming back with these awesome videos. Hopefully you got something out of this particular one. When I started thinking big is when the, real, the needle really started moving. All right? So whether you come to one of my events like Clever Summit, which is August 16th, 17th, and 18th of 2019, um, here in Scottsdale, Arizona, or you, uh, you know, are going to one of my mastermind sessions, or you're just engaging with me on social. The people that get off the wall and get in the game and are active with me, the people that smash that like button and uh, really spend time to type out comments and share these videos, those are the ones that I notice. And when I notice you, that's normally when I reach out or somebody from my team reaches out and we start building a real relationship, not just a social relationship, but a real relationship. And that's what I want for us, and that's why I do this. Because uh, at the end of the day, that's all that matters is the relationships. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you got something out of this. I'm Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor, signing off for now. Until next time, let's go get that exponential growth. Take care, comb your hair, Sperber out.